Hi friends! Today I am going to quickly show you, because a lot of you have asked on my TikTok, I'm going to show you a brief overview of my website that I'm using for distance learning and I'll take you through the different Bitmoji classrooms and I will teach you how to create a hyperlink. And you will see, if you have no idea what that is, you will see what that is. And so here is my homepage. Um, and a hyperlink is basically getting an image and attaching a link to it. So a student can essentially go in and click the picture and it will take them right to the Google Classroom or wherever you want them to go. And so here, this is actually embedded on my Google site, um, but this is actually just a PDF. And if you would like me to show you how I post things to my Google site, let me know and I can do that as well. Um, but this is um, my site, that's the homepage. I have a school schedule here, um, but here's my worship page because so we're going to have a private Christian school so students can click on the music notes and it'll take them right to whatever I've used uh, made it as a link. I made my Bitmoji classrooms in Canva, Canva Design. Today though, because this is what I have posted on my TPT, I'm going to post, uh, I mean I'm going <laughs> to um, show you in slides how to make a link. Um, and so. Here's my reading. So you can see, and again, these are all embedded as PDFs. Students can click and they can go. So I have uh, a read aloud section. And then I've got a math corner here. And it'll lead to like sites that we often use, like there's Prodigy. And again, um, there will be a link to my TBT where you can get these templates as well. Um, and then I've got science. And it is super easy, guys, to make a Bitmoji if you haven't. All you have to do is go um, to your app store and download the Bitmoji app on your phone. And then you can add an extension um, like this really slow right now and you can add bitmojis and I would recommend typing in pose and you can get the full bitmoji. Social studies I have I'm still working on that one but here's PE so it's really cool you can just make your bitmoji it's just really user friendly to set up your classroom this way you can click it um, but I don't want to spend too much time going into this although I did tell people I would show them my site looks like. I want to show you guys how to create a hyperlink. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into slides. Super simple. This is an image I found on Google. As you can see, I've already created a hyperlink. All you have to do, step one, go to insert. Step two, link. And I can change it and paste it and press apply. And so then, and then you can save it if you would like as a pdf you don't want to save it as a jpeg if you save it as a jpeg i'm going to tell you right now the hyperlinks will not work so save it as a jpeg and then when you go to your google site you can embed it um and again if you'd like to see how to do that i can make a different video but that's basically how to create a hyperlink um and it is again super super user friendly if you view classroom and you're working with younger grades this might be a better route to go since it's very wordy on google classroom but again my tpt has oh that's things and reviews my tpt has um bitmoji templates here and you can download it um so yeah thanks for watching